Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Daz's Hot Comic Book Alerts episode 288 and I'm fresh off a successful hunting mission to Bristol. Found some good books which I'm excited to show you guys. But this is all about the alert. I'm going to start with an image as I often do. If you knew who that guy was, you were a better person than I am. But I know who it is now. Veteran actor and longtime Martian Manhunter voice actor Carl Lumley has been cast in an unspecified role for Disney Plus's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And that's according to Deadline. Here is Carl Lumley, guys. Probably recognise him. He's a uh, Martian Manhunter's dad in the Supergirl TV show. Now, while the Hollywood trade says Lumley's role has not been disclosed... They lean on the theory he could be playing the second Captain America, Isaiah Bradley. Neither Marvel nor Disney Plus have confirmed Lumley's casting. Uh, retconned in comic book continuity in 2003's Truth, Red, White and Black by the late Robert Morales and Kyle Baker, Bradley was revealed to be part of a Tuskegee-like experiments with the super soldier serum following Steve Rogers' successful test transforming him into Captain America. And after working for a black ops US military group during World War II, Bradley went renegade with a stolen Captain America costume and shield and became a vigilante himself. Now the Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV show will be Marvel Studios' first Disney Plus effort and is currently filming in Atlanta. Lumley is a 40 plus year acting veteran but is perhaps best known for voicing Martian Manhunter in the shows Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Status Shock, and the Justice League film Doom. Of course, like I said, he was playing Murren, uh, Man, Martian Manhunter's father in Supergirl. A little bit more about Isaiah Bradley. Well, his abilities, trained unarmed combatant, Peak physical attributes, slowed aging, extraordinary immunity to disease, carries a concave of triangular metal shields. Here is Isaiah Bradley, guys. He's got some guns. Now, like I said, as depicted in the 2003 limited series Truth, White and uh, Truth, Red, White and Black, the World War II Super Soldier Program of 1942, operated by Reinstein, uh, Dr. Wilfred Nagel, employee, uh, employing an alias previously used by Dr. Abraham's Erxine, uses African American test subjects to be, recreate the formula that has previously been used to turn Steve Rogers from a skinny but patriotic army reject into Captain America. The clandestine experimentation that empowers Isaiah holds similarities with the Tuskegee uh, Symphilis study. Symphilis study? That's a mouthful. So, Isaiah Bradley, injected with the same super soldier serum as Steve Rogers, the first black Captain America, first appeared in an issue from January of 2003, it was issue one of a seven part mini series. I spoke about it just now. Here is your book guys, Truth, Red, White and Black. Issue number one, like I said, from 2003. The first appearance of Isaiah Bradley, who later becomes Captain America. Now, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, IBM DB, uh, page at one point listed the Dr. Wilfred Nagel as a character that will appear in the TV series. Now, Nagel, Nagel, who also appeared in that Truth, Red, White and Black issue, was responsible for the early Super Soldier uh, program. And it could be the key to introducing Eli Bradley from the Young Avengers. A lot of info to take on board there, guys. That book, Truth, Red, White and Black, issue one, I've just picked up for under £5. It's a cheap gamble, but I think it might have some heat later down the line, so grab one early if you can. That's Daz over now. Bye for now.